Hello everyone, I'm in Abu Simbel in southern Egypt. I'm in front of a temple dedicated to King Ramses II. This temple was built in the 1200 before Christ, but in the 1960 was cut off and relocated in this position because the President Abu Nasser of Egypt decided to build a dam and they called it the Nasser Dam. And so they cut uh, stone by stone and they relocated over here. It's in a very impressive and massive temple. Over here behind me is a representation of uh, King uh, Ramses II, four statues of him. One was uh, destroyed during an earthquake. And uh, below him are his family, mother, wives, daughters, representing in a, short, in a smaller forms. It's really impressive. It takes a long time to get here from Cairo to Abu Simbel. You, if you come by plane, you have to connect in uh, Aswan. If you come by bus, you still have to come from Aswan. It takes a few hours, but it's really worth it. It's beautiful to come here and see this uh, amazing work of art. Now let's go inside and I'll show you. And okay, now I'm inside the temple. And these are all statues of Ramses II and uh, around the walls his representation of the battles of uh, Ramses II. Look, look how amazing. And these are prisoners in the battle. Look, horses. And uh, th this way the king wanted to show his might, his power. And that's also one of the reasons he built this temple, to show his powers to the P Egyptian of the south. Look, this is a lion. And this is offerings to the king. And there are different halls inside. And the king is represented in, uh, also as a god-like. Of course, he was a pharaoh, but he was also a god. It's amazing how they were able to cut this temple and relocate it from its original position here. I remember I came about 30 years ago and uh, the colors were still vivid, but now people are allowed to, I see tourists touching the walls, which I don't understand because they were never allowed to do that in Europe, in the US or in another country. The light is very dim, which makes it difficult to see the work of art. At the same time, that makes it mysterious. Here we are in a, all with uh, four statues. One is Ramses, and then uh, the gods. This is Amun-Ra, with the sun and, uh, on top of his head. And these are different representation of uh, life, a boat. And this is a representation of Min, the god of fertility. Can anyone tell why he was called the god of fertility? <laughs> god of fertility. It takes a long time to come to Abu Simba, but it's worth it. It's really beautiful. So I encourage everybody coming to, to Egypt to come to Abu Simba too. The one over there is the great temple of Ramses. And the one over here is the smaller temple of Ramses, the second. Also, this temple was dedicated to his wife, Nefertari. 
Here we can see four statues of the king Ramses II, one, two, three, and four, and two statues of his wife Nefertari. His love for his life, for his wife, is uh, expressed by the fact that uh, the size of the statues of uh, Nefertari has exactly the same size of the king. Well, almost exactly. Um, so that means that uh, he really loved his wife. There are smaller statues and uh, representing the family of King Ramses II, like daughters and mother. The temple also was dedicated to the goddess Athru, uh, which is the goddess of motherhood, love and fertility. And there is a representation of her inside. Let's go inside. So as you can see, this is a much smaller temple. This is the main hall, and there are representation of the goddess Athru, the goddess of motherhood, love, fertility, and music too. They are all represented here. And then around the, the wall, there are representation of uh, Ramses II and Nefertari. This is Ramses II here, that uh, is being uh, made a god by the uh, Horus and Seth, the gods Horus and Seth made uh, Ramses II a god. And here we have a sacred chamber dedicated to Othru. Over here is a little damaged. And here is a representation of Nefertari presenting offerings to the goddess Othru. And so, 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 so many other representation of uh, this, I assume, also is Nefertari, and uh, this is Ramses. So, all representation of uh, the two of them. And this was the love that uh, he dedicated this temple to his wife because he loved her so much. This over here is also showing the, the strength and the power of the king killing an enemy or making an enemy prisoner. I cannot imagine, it's very hot and humid in here, I cannot imagine the people forced, most of them were slaves and uh, they were forced to work in here and uh, uh, sculpting and painting and uh, it was a hard work. But they left all of this for us for future generation, and it's amazing. So, guys, come to Abu Simbel, come to Egypt, come to Abu Simbel, and subscribe to my channel, Antonio Viaggia, for more videos around the world. Thank you for watching.